back to daytime auto. I'm feeling short today. I know. You, oh, heels. you got flat shoes. That's, I was wondering shoes. what was going on here. What was different? <laughs> Is it your hair? Or have you done you. something? Well, uh, we are going to be talking about design trends because the TBBs are here with us today. Or two members of the TBBs. You guys have a whole crew of girls. <laughs> Sounds yeah. like a lot of fun, ladies. <laughs> They're going to be giving us the latest in fabric and flooring trends. Ladies, thank you so much for joining us. We have Marianne Van Gogh on the show as, as well as Nicole Duguay who is here um, showing us some of the fabric and flooring trends. Like I said, you ladies came back from a wonderful design show in Toronto and uh, you, you've got the latest for us. So let's get started. Let's dive right in. Um, how about, Nicole, how about we start first with the fabrics because you have a lot of fabrics here on display mm -hmm. for us. Lots of things happening mm -hmm. and certainly neutral has been in for a very long yes. time right. and you can still work with your neutrals that okay. you've got in your space but what we're seeing are these African tribal prints coming in okay. so they look kind of hand-drawn kind of rustic and they'll marry quite well and bring your space a little bit more modern a little bit more color with this hand-drawn herringbone right. still very neutral yeah. still very right. neutral very livable mm -hmm. easy easy on the eye then we go into the chevron we're adding a bit more color I like that. we've yeah. got this kind of again very hand-drawn and we've got uh, the combinations of teal happening with this kind of khaki yellow green. Right. Right. And are those trendy colors now? Like what are the big colors that you saw? Big colors, well green is the Pantone, emerald green is the Pantone color of the year. Okay. And you can see it kind of coming into the brighter fabrics, okay. right. but not all as emerald. We're seeing it coming in as kind of apple green. We're right. seeing it in kind of khaki greens and things. So green is everywhere, mm -hmm. but not always in the emerald shade. Mm -hmm. And Marianne, uh, um, Nicole mentioned the fact that you know that we were getting some rustic in there, and that's mm -hmm. exactly what you saw in in the flooring trends. And you brought an example along here. And I guess we're seeing wider planks too. That's another trend. That's right. This sample here shows. A lot of the trends uh, right. shows the wider plank, like now they're at least six inches wide, where they used to be two to three inches wide. I like that. Yeah, so me too. you get a lot less seams, and it's a, di a different look. Right. Uh, the lighter colors, the natural colors, have swung back into favor. So for a while, we were seeing all the espresso, the dark chocolate browns. Right. So that's out now. Well, it's not out. Pe lots of people have it, so right. it's not out. But if you're going to get new flooring, then mm -hmm. people are looking at lighter natural tones. Okay. Um, and then the rustic look of this with uh, lots of pronounced knots. Um, if you feel this, it's got some texture to it. It's like a hand scraped texture rather than a, a glossy polished look. What about people that see that and it's, you know, hear that you're saying, you know, texture to it. Mm -hmm. uh, what about maintenance for something mm -hmm. like that? Is it, is it any different than your, your No, everyday? actually it would hide more things because right. like, I mean, when you feel it, it's not like it's, you're going to get splinters or anything like that, but it's got some texture, so it's not going to be slippery. It's not going to show scratches as much. So, and you're not yeah. as afraid to scratch it either. Well, that's it. So maybe you don't have to nag the kids so much. <laughs> <laughs> and when you look at this, you don't have to think country either. Like this looks right. quite sensational with the modern decor. So you've right. got the mix of the rustic and the modern. Um, so. And what about colors then for flooring? What, what are the trendy colors right now, or what's really happening right now in Florida? Well, the natural, lighter colors like this. Um, okay. Is it more of a gray or more of a yellow Well, undertone? you're getting gray, grayish, like a gray beige okay. kind of color. Like so the really brave people are doing gray floors, but that's, that's a trend that's going to cycle through in a couple of years. So flooring right. is a big investment. So. So air on the side of grayish. Yeah. That's what I'm getting. <laughs> okay. A brown I love gray. It. Yeah. And Nicole, Marianne mentioned that you can marry this sort of rustic in with modern because you've got some modern sort of designs and, and, and colors. How would you go about doing that? Can you do too much? There's never too much. Okay. <laughs> Decor is never that. about okay. too much. That's one of the trends we're seeing, these really rustic floors being married with bright, colorful prints. And certainly the big trend in fabrics color this year. Right. We're seeing everything's brought in in really saturated colors. Right. So you picture your crayon box, those kind of colors. They're not grayed down. They're right. not these kind of muted colors and safer colors. They're if you want a real pop. But with the length of our long winters and certainly as much as you might want more snow, I'm done with it. <laughs> um, everyone could use a little pop of wow in their space. Yeah. And there's no doubt you put in some cushions in that, you're yeah. gonna get wow. So um, let's look at these fabrics because you've combined them all here on the table today. And I don't find it to be you know jarring at all, but mm -hmm. a lot of people at home may be a bit more timid when it comes to combining different fabrics. What's mm -hmm. the key to doing that? different size like usually you're going to start with keeping the same color palette okay. Okay. so you might start with something like this and then choose all your other fabrics 
from that color palette. Okay. You might choose a stripe to go with that because that's a different scale to your, your floral here. And then make sure that the colors in the stripe have some of the colors that are in here. Right. Right. And you could uh, also use an area rug to use as your color bouncing off, but yeah. always varying the scale. That's kind of the key. Bring in as much as you can. And Marianne, when, when you were there, you saw um, some, some different trends too when it comes to the type of flooring. Not only these larger planks, but you also saw, as we understand it, cork, yep. uh, leather, bamboo, and you brought some other samples along here with you. This is cork. Now, wh what is the benefit of cork? Well, cork is very a, a lot softer to stand on. So if right. compared to like ceramics, even hardwood, it's got more cushioning. Like when you think of a cork, it's it's got a bit of give. So right. um, mm -hmm. the other advantage is it's environmentally friendly. So it, that's all recycled. That's from old corks and from oh, really? the sheets of cork that the corks are popped out of. Oh, they yeah, recycle okay. all that into flooring. So that one with the little pieces back yeah, here, there. I'll grab this one too. I'll grab this um, one for you. Now, you, and, and I guess we'll notice that they do look different as well. They have a different pattern. Mm -hmm. um, so that one, because right. of the small pieces, they use every little piece of surplus cork and, and their hand placed into those patterns. And this is something else that you can kind of mix and match as well. Well, that's why we brought the two planks because right, you, you, could put them up. you could do um, you know, a whole floor in that with a plain board or vice versa that's or right. two rooms that are adjacent that you want to look a little different. You could do one room and you mm -hmm. know, a smaller room in the or whatever in the one of them and the bigger room in the other one. And so you mix and match. That's yeah. another trend in flooring where you're inserting a border or you're inserting something that looks like an area rug. So if you like both of them, you don't have to commit to just one. You can do both. I love that. Ladies, thank you so much for joining thank us. Thank you. Yeah, always, always a pleasure. Always a pleasure you to have the You can mix yeah. and match your cork and, and your fabric. <laughs> can <laughs> we just say thank time. you, too, to CNM Textiles, yes. who That's gave right. us the fabric, and Barwood Flooring, who were able to donate to, or to lend us their samples yeah. for oh, the work. Thank Thanks for mentioning that, Nicole. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. All right. Well, coming back from break, we are going to be doing a little bit of yoga for your kidneys with Vazia Going Yoga. That's right after this.